So, with the windows that we're going to do, uh, I also wanted to change the door handles and the latches and all that. So, I went to basically Dennis Carpenter and ordered it all. So, I've got new outside handles, inside handles, the little weather stripping pieces that go there, and then the window regulator, the door regulator, if you will, for both sides. Um, so, we are going to end up putting all this together and um, taking the old stuff out. All right, so we're gonna start with taking the door handles off. So the outside handle, which um, in typical Ford fashion, they kind of sag and that's just annoying And that. So uh, to get to remove this, this, this door handle, there is a screw, flathead screw, right there that we have to take out. After we take that out, we should be able to pull the whole door handle off. Um, so Ashley is going to attempt. That probably hasn't moved since the truck was built. So we'll see. So the screw literally just goes right in here. Um, after you get the screw out, which did not actually fall out or anything yet, but uh, you can then pop this door handle right off. And uh, we'll move on to taking the rest of it. All right, so to take the inside door handle out, there's this pin, and it kind of wedges in here in between this uh, rubber piece and the door handle. So take a punch and punch it with a hammer out, and then you can just slide this handle off. Heh, maybe you can slide this handle off. It's been on here for, since the dawn of time, so. Is the problem. There it goes. Handle comes off. Now you're set. So now you all you have to do is take one, two, three screws, four, five screws, six, seven screws, and this whole assembly will just fall right out. The last thing to do is to reach up in here. And our old Door latch assembly is now out. All right, so the last thing is, is the lock on this side. There is a little tiny Allen in there that is holding the lock on. It is a um, 3 30 seconds um, head. Uh, ours was pretty well seized in there. Right now it seems to be turning fine but I did have to use pliers to hold that to get it to break free. Again, that lock maybe has never even been removed or even touched. So, nonetheless, we have finally got it to break free. And what we do is at some point, hopefully, It'll give up without breaking. All right, so that's that. And we can try very hard not to damage the door. The lock is out and
that was. So we've got the door, new door handle in, got the rubber piece in there. This handle had to be persuaded to go in there, had to use a dead blow to really get it in. It just, I tried to grease it, but it's such a tight fit that this does not go in well. But now instead of the handle being sloppy and just hanging down or whatever, you could see that it actually sits up like it's supposed to. The inside handle does the same thing. It's a very nice, easy, when on these Fords, when you want to lock it, since these didn't have regular locks, when you pull up on the handle, that locks the outside handle. When you push it down, then that, the outside handle works as it should. This one also has a lock, which we are currently cleaning and getting that, so that'll go back in. Um, we have the little adjustment screw to do. I have just a little more manipulation, but nonetheless, Everything has a really nice tight fit and of course Shuts really well too You can't get into it <laughs>